Hi, um, welcome to this video. Uh, this is the very beginning. I have no idea if I'm going to even complete this. So uh, this could go into the bit bucket eventually. Hopefully I keep up with this. Um, if you're watching this, it means I was able to pull this off. So, well, what am I trying to pull off here? Um, I'm going to call this a core story. This is going to be more like a video blog or adventure into the making of the Hershey Country Club for GS Pro. Um, who am I? Um, on Discord, my name is Mastablasta, which is, um, if you watched any of the old uh, Mad Max films with Mel Gibson, there was a, I think it's Beyond Thunderdome, there's a character named Mastablasta who I thought was somewhat funny and entertaining. So that's where I came from. No, it's not um, sexual <laughs> or anything perverted. Um, and it doesn't mean that I can hit the ball very far either. So um, nothing at all to do with that. Um, I am an engineer by day. Uh, I work for a large IT manufacturing company. I'm a dad of three daughters, teenagers, wish me luck. Um, husband by night, or actually that's all day, by night, day, whatever. And then in my free time, I build courses for GS Pro. GS Pro, it is my hobby. I don't do it for, I never want to do it for pay. I like it. It's a hobby. Um, I have never done a course for pay, although I I'm considering doing one for charity soon. Um, so why am I doing this? Well, it's a passion of mine. I like making these videos. I've also done a lot of training videos for new designers. And also, I just want to give maybe a little bit of appreciation for people to see what the designers are going through and also an appreciation for people like John Meyer, um, uh, Stinger I, Stingray, um, I'm not sure how he pronounced that actually now that I think about it, um, DPR Roberts, those are the guys behind the scenes who don't get a lot of credit because they're not directly responsible for GS Pro the game, but they build the tools that we use to make the courses. So I want to you know, give them a shout out and hopefully people will appreciate what they do as well. Um, and also one ask, and I'll have this in the description is, and this, I'm assuming this video will be in there, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And it wouldn't be bad if I could start getting some money out of my YouTube channel someday, even if it's only a few bucks a month, it might pay for a couple of assets that I uh, buy inside of Unity to build my courses. So let's get started. Um, I'm actually starting this after I already started Hershey Country Club, so I want to catch you up on what I've done so far, and I'll, I'll, I'll have a little bit of briefing update on, on what I've done. So what I've done so far is I've generated LiDAR data in my satellite overlay, overlays, and it took me about two hours. Um, so I'll cover what those are and, and just after this, but I just want to give you an update of how much time I have involved. Um, I've started what we call in um, designer world inkscaping or splining. I have about three hours in that so far, but I was doing a lot of experimentation in there. I was doing some testing of some other tools. So it's going to look like I didn't get really far, but I've, I've done a lot of playing around. I tend to do that with my courses. I experiment quite a bit. I started my buildings in a thing called a, a blender. Ah, this course is going to have a lot of detailed buildings that are really important because they're landscapes. There's a lot of historic buildings. I suspect those buildings are going to take me 40 or 50 hours. I have, I think, about five of them, two of which are very detailed, the clubhouse. And then um, this is Hershey Country Club, so I have to build Milton Hershey's mansion. That's going to be really interesting. Um, and I toured the course and took pics. I had a member that took me out. I got to play for free. It's pretty sweet. It was four hours, but, you know, I, I played around and while I was taking the pictures. So I'm not sure if that counts or not, but I took lots of pictures, and I'll, I'll show those to you here.